Hello and welcome to the Royal Oak Foundation Conservation Studio here at Glorious Knoll on such a wonderful day. I'm here to show you what our conservation specialists are up to in the studio, so please do come in and we'll take a look. The great thing about working here at Knoll is the range of specialists we have. So we have people that specialise in paintings conservation, furniture conservation, decorative surfaces, organics like leather and social history and natural history. And I think that just really gives us the opportunity to problem solve because objects aren't always made out of one material. And I love the fact that people come into the space and they are welcomed by our volunteers who we work with really closely. And just to see people's interest in what we do grow during their visit, which is really exciting to see. I love volunteering here. To work in such a stunning building, learning about all the amazing objects that come through here and the work of the conservators and explaining that to the public who come is really interesting. Since 2017 we've been conserving most of Knoll House's contents from very significant furniture to small ceramics and silverware. We now support the whole of the National Trust in its collections. So this year we've been granted £3 million from the Royal Oak Foundation. Now the Royal Oak Foundation are an American not-for-profit institution and they basically support the work of the National Trust. So thanks to them we're able to further develop the conservation studio and to really start to understand the collections that we have. Another item I'd like to show you is a painting from Townend which features in a book called 100 Paintings from the Collection of the National Trust and here's Becca to tell you a little bit more about it. What we have on the easel today is a painting by an artist called William Longmire and he's a rather special and local artist to the area. There's a little crease in the support and we're going to be looking at securing paint that may be a little loose around that crease and trying to reduce the prominence of the crease which is a little bit raised. We're going to be cleaning the old varnish away, removing discoloured over paint and then we're going to be re-varnishing the painting in a way that fits really nicely with the other paintings by the same artist at Townend. The panel looks a little bit like it's maybe card or board. The board is comprised of both jute and cotton. Jute was being imported from India and cotton, of course, was coming from North America. Cumbria had its own mills producing paper. So this support reflects local industry and also it reflects global trade as well. These Scabelli chairs from Petworth House feature in the book called 125 Treasures from the Collections of the National Trust. And Mira will tell you a little bit more. So this is one of the nine chairs we have from Petworth. They are from the 1600s. So I'm going to show you how it's the construction, how are they made. Once you remove the two wedges from the chair and the back of it is Gabello chairs comes from the Italian word of sgabelli, which means a uh, stool. So the treatment for these chairs has been um, quite challenging. The paint was flaking and there was a risk of more losses in the decorative surfaces. So eventually I've been very gently doing a surface cleaning because we want to keep the age look of them because they are part of the history of the object. So these are the white losses that we found all over the group of chairs. So with watercolours, we are just toning down the, the losses, so they disappear to the eye. Lasers have been used in conservation for a while now, and I've been using it in this particular chair because it was very damaged, and the bronze paint on top was not able to be removed without uh, damaging it. Apparently this is a laser that commercially is used in cosmetics to remove tattoos, but for us it's been adapted as well, so it's not as powerful as in normal use. So things that I really value in conservation are uncovering the stories about objects. How were they cared for in the past? How they've been maybe restored or represented? What stories do they really tell us? 
This is the end of our tour. I hope you've enjoyed the glimpse behind the scenes here at the Royal Oak Foundation Conservation Studio. Thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support that helps to keep places like this open.